gonna use these colors to try another ring technique, three ring technique, and I'm gonna use this purple as a base. For those who have followed me for the longest time will, will know that this technique has been my nemesis. So I'm gonna give it a try. I have tried to give up so many times, but I just can't, guys. I can't, I can't let a technique defeat me. <laughs> so I'm trying it and uh, I'm being very careful in trying to pour the colors into the cup, as you can see here. Try not to mix them up too much, okay? I'm going offline and I'm back now and that's how it looks. So I'm adding this purple dot in there that I'm going to spread throughout my canvas to help the paint slide better. I added another purple dot and now I am just swirling around till my heart is content and hoping that this time it will work out. I have a very good feeling, but also because the consistency of the paint you can see is different than my normal formula. And this consistency is a lot thicker than the previous times that I've tried it. This is just tempur tempera paint and water. That's it. No medium, no lubricant, no nothing. Just paint and water, all right? So the other important thing I think of on this technique is to be able to move it uh, in a circular way to keep the pattern so we don't disturb the the rings see this is the part that is going to take the longest and sometimes it may even uh, the paint may even get off the canvas but it's okay as long as we're in control I see that it's already too close to the edge in one side and so now I'm tilting to the other side and um, and I think this is key, like I said. You know, it's just, can't rush art, people. Can't rush it. You got to take your time and, uh, and be patient. See, now it's spilling a little bit, and it's okay. It's okay. I don't want it to have way too much paint, and then when it dries, it's going to crack. Because what happens is the top layer just dries really quickly and then the bottom is still fresh so when that water tries to evaporate it breaks the surface creating cracks so i want yes i do want rings but i don't want cracked rings so i think i'm okay with um, the tilting right now and i am going to go ahead and tilt a little bit here and cover this other corner in here with uh, more more of the purple color. And uh, what do you think, guys? I love it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I cannot believe. Guys, if I can do this, so can you. Trust me. Oh my gosh. I cannot tell you how many fail in how many fail try tries I had with this thing and it's finally here but the most important thing is how it dries you know they all look pretty when when they're wet and they're fresh so that's what I'm going to show you and um, in the meantime if this video has been of any help to you please give it a like and subscribe Right, ladies and gentlemen this is the finished painting and as you can see it's already varnished and I could not be happier about it I absolutely love it for those who have followed me uh, know that these have been my nemesis but um, patience and perseverance pay off at the end and if I could do this with the cheapest paintings with just paint and water so can you so don't give up 
keep trying and if you want to come to a an online gallery so to speak i'd invite you to visit our acrylic art paintings group on facebook it looks like this right now but it is not limited to just fluid art it uh, as long as it is acrylics you are welcome to share your uh, work with us and then uh, as you can see here here's one for fluid art um, think, I think that's another one but this is other types of paintings as well it's a support group and uh, rules are simple so thanks for watching see you then keep painting